Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wheresoever you are watching from. My name is Esther Stefan. I welcome you to Re Esther Kitchen. Guys, everything yeah. about my kitchen is cooking and eating. Yeah, today I will be showing you how I will make my spinach. You see, it's a very fresh spinach from the uh, plant. So I will show you how I make it. With this spinach, I will be making dry spinach stew, which you can see all type of uh, food here. Yeah? With this dry spinach stew, you can you, you can decide to use it to eat rice or yam flour or fresh uh, plantain. I don't have yam here, but this is all what I have. So I will be using this uh, ingredient to make my spinach stew. My tomatoes, my fresh tomatoes is here. My fish, my fresh medusa fish is here. I have uh, three onions, my fresh uh, cow meat, I have my crayfish here on the table, my fresh pepper, here is my um, uh, sun oil, my uh, granite oil, here two mandy cube, my salt, dry thyme, and curry. So this is all what I have here on the table to make this stew. Guys, I really appreciate your time. I want to tell you that I appreciate your time. If you have not pressed the bell button, please do for notification of my new video. And please share with your friends to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your time. So stay with me as I go through the process of making this food. Thank you very much. So guys, my girls, my pot is already placed on my cooking gas. The fresh frozen meat is uh, already melted. There, I have uh, uh, onions, the, my dry thyme, the maggi is inside, uh, curry is inside, um, nutmeg, um, grounded nutmeg is inside. So, it's about time I start cooking it. I'll cover the pot now, guys. And start cooking so your meat when you are cooking your meat really have to be well seasoned with full ingredients okay the nice thing i will do now is to slice the vegetable leaf spinach on my slicing board so guys this is how i slice my spinach you see i'm doing the slicing not too tiny not big just like this so guys my meat is boiling so as you can see the ingredient this is how it looks this is how it looks hello guys here is my spinach the spinach i showed you guys earlier i've sliced it so now i soak it with boiled water in the bowl why i soak soak it it's just because some people complain after eating spinach they get purged after eating spinach it's just because it was not well prepared so normally spinach after, before you cook it you have to soak it with boiled water for like 15 to 20 minutes it's because of the chemical they use because of the fertilizer so many vegetables they use fertilizer on it so you just have to soak it so the green the first greenness will just wash away and now my tomatoes i'm going to slice these tomatoes my fish is already sliced i'll be frying it the crayfish i showed you earlier is ground uh along with the fresh pepper now my meat is well cooked okay i've taken it away from my cooking gas it is well cooked it's very very soft now my fry pan now is placed on the 
cooking gas so i'll be frying my fish followed by the meat so stay with me guys yes yeah, so guys i'm frying my fish right now you can see and my tomatoes is already sliced my onions the next is on this on this cooking is for me to fitter my spinach leaf see it's already soft because it was well mashed with bread water oh this water is so hot so this is how i go i'll just fitter it for the water goes. so then go like this mash it down mash it press it down please be careful when you are doing this because the water is very hot you can decide to use a tony stick so i'll press the water away properly okay so this is how it look at the end let me show you the water this was the water you don't supposed to cook it with this kind of water my fish is dried wet dried so i will take it away and the next thing i will do now is to fry my meat okay fry the meat now the meat is going oil yeah? So the next step for me to wash my rice. Yeah, because President uh, Basmati rice, Baboe, I have to wash, wash it for second time. Get you what I will. So guys, frying of meat. You don't have to fry this meat too much. A little bit all you know. Even as that, you don't have to fry it too much. Why? Because of the type of the type of food I'm using it for. If it was to be stew, you have to leave it to dry. It will be a little bit longer. And here you see I've washed my rice. So the water is very clean. Rice is well washed and the water is very clean. Uh, here is my plantain. There is the plantain. So don't forget, wipe well your plantain. You don't need too much water because plantain normally it gives iron. You just have to put into water, wipe well in it. So the water has to dry together with the plantain. So that is it. I told you guys why I'm cooking rice, well in plantain. Because I told you earlier on, so you can use it, the dry spinach stew, you can use it to eat uh, pandan yam, that is uh, yam flour. I will show you how we be making this, or rice, or plantain, even yam, okay? So here we go guys, I uh, started cooking, made you, okay? So first of all, I fry the onion. I fry my onion. Onions was poured inside. And then I pour the tomato. And then I pour the tomatoes inside. You can decide what to pour first among these two. Is it the tomatoes or this? For me, I pour this first because why? The tomato up to a little bit melt, okay. A little bit melt. Now pour it inside. Then follow by this for fish and fresh pepper. This both I have for fish and fresh grounded for fish and grounded fresh pepper. Seven. Um. 
So guys, I will not turn it together. So turn it again. Still have not put the knife inside. Yeah, I'll put salt. Alright. So now guys. For my spinach, here come the spinach. So, turn it together. Adding my mango cube now. Oh, the evaporation. I just had a mango cube. I've not put the fried the fried fish and meat yet. That will come a little bit later. Okay, my rice is not yet ready. No, add a little bit water. So I had a little bit water to my pot of rice. Okay, that is it, guys. That is it. The last on the list were my fresh fried meat and fried fish. See, no need of putting water, okay? Just like that. I see it's very dried. No fond of water or meat. Apart from the tomatoes. Apart from the fresh tomato. Apart from the fresh tomatoes I use in deep in frying meat. So that is it guys the next step now show you how i make my yam flour <laughs> 